Hi, Hiram here. In the past, I've had many requests to do a review or test on these Coglins fuel tablets. I think it's pronounced Coglins. Uh, I haven't been able to do it because I can't find these anywhere in the area here. The Army Navy, the uh, surplus stores, the sports stores, none of them carry it. And there was no way I was going to pay as much for shipping on eBay as what the tablets themselves cost, so I never got around to it. But then last week, uh, Bush Craft Master 12201 told me about a place on the internet called Vitacost.com. I'll put a link to it in my input here. That uh, was selling them for reduced price. So checking it out, I found out that they were indeed. They're selling a box of 24 for 99 cents instead of the uh, normal, I think it was 3.29 list price. So with that, I bought five boxes to give them a try. Basically, it just comes like in a little green box. Has two sleeves of 12 tablets each. Now the thing is, once you've opened up the sleeve, you got to put them somewhere. I'm sure to keep them from drying out. And a couple of things you can do is just stick them in a, those uh, mini M&M bottles. That should be fairly airtight. If you have a medicine ball, bottle that's small enough, they'll stick in there. But normally the medicine bottles are a little bit bigger and they bounce around. But then what you can do is just put matches in the box. These are strike anywhere matches, so there I have matches and the fuel in one place. And it's relatively safe. I mean, they're strike anywhere, but there's nothing in there for them to strike against. So you're on your own if you want to do this, but I think for my personal use, it's fairly safe and it's somewhat airtight. So some weight comparisons on these to compare one tablet of the Coglin's fuel tablets. This weighs what did I have here? About 7 grams or 0.2 ounces or 0 0.014 pounds. Whereas the wet fire tinder that I've used in the past on some tests, this weighs 5 grams or 0.15 ounces or 0 0.011 pounds. Pretty light, but sooty. And the ESPIT tablet weighs, or cube rather, weighs about 15 grams or half an ounce or about 0 .09 pounds. I'm going to do a test using the wet fire stove because I have a couple of other tests that I can compare it against. <clears throat> You've seen this before, I'm sure. If not, you can look up my other. I'll put links in for the other tests. I have a pot of water here, two cups, setting at 60 degrees. Now I'm not going to scrape this tablet, I'm just going to see how easy it starts just from the way it comes out of the package. Oops, put out the match. Let's try that again. I think I have to get a rougher board here. Okay, can you see that it just caught on the edge? Okay, let's so not waste that. I'm going to put two cups of water on the top in my standard number one pot and let's see what this does. Okay, it looks like that's just about ready to go out flame is really dropping. That's still going. It's actually gone longer on the box. It says tab one tablet will burn nine minutes. We're already working on ten minutes right there. Still have a little bit of flame. It's up to 180 degrees. It's not dropping yet. 181 still going up. 
not. I guess that's about it. Now it's fluctuating between 181 and 180. just call it now at let's say 10 minutes 39 seconds and we got to 181 degrees that was one tablet weighing what did I say 7 grams got two cups of water starting at 60 degrees up to 181 degrees in 10 minutes 39 seconds the box like I said says that it'll burn for nine minutes but burning multiple tablets will increase the heat and decrease cooking time and counter the effects of wind I don't have a wind screen here because I don't have any wind in here unless I'm talking but uh, even at the price I didn't give you the prices let's see where do I have that listed uh, the Koglins, the list price would make each tablet about 14 cents each. The price that I got them at was 4 cents each. So, even comparing it to Espit, that was about 70 cents a cube. And the Wet Fire Tinder, one Wet Fire Tinder, one Wet Fire Tinder uh, cost a buck. It was $7.95 for a package of eight so that makes it about a dollar each and then the cube so if you look back on the other tests let me just dump this out here while I'm talking this would make nice hot coffee let's see what the bottom looks like uh, a little bit of residue or soot or something nowhere near as bad as what the wet fire did if you look back on the videos, you'll see that this thing was caked with black, thick soot. That's not too bad. So I bet that if I had used two tablets in here, it probably would have gotten to boiling temperature, and it still would have been cheaper than wet fire or the even the Espit cube. And there's just a little nubbin left there with some ashes, which it's a different kind of ash. It almost looks like cotton or felt. I don't know if you can see that. but So that's my first test, maybe only test, of this Coglin's Fuel Tablets. Hope that helps the people that have been asking about this. If there's interest in it, I'll do another test using two tablets and see if we can get boiling water. But at least this got to a higher temperature than the wet fire did, according to my notes here. Uh, the wet fire tinder only brought two cups of water starting at 59 degrees to 151 degrees whereas this time I got it up to 181 degrees so I don't know like I said I hope that helps anybody I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now Good boy, Max.